Fighting out of Ilford, the Destroyer! Connor Ben, he has improved so much to a point where fighters are avoiding him but he has the biggest fight of his career and that's Chris Eubank Jr and let's see how the jab is a punch that is rarely used by a short boxer however short fighters such as Mike Tyson also one of them short fighters who use the jab to perfection the jab helps him control the distance as well as set up his dynamite combinations he must start every combination with the jab against Eubank because if he does not Eubank will counter him brutally in fights especially in the Vargas fight Connor's high volume of punches allowed him to stop Vargas within a round some in a high amount of punches in the fight against Eubank Jr will really aid Connor to victory as this will pressurize Eubank and create opportunities for Connor to land a powerful punch mixing up really helped him against tough fighters by mixing up the combinations Connor has been able to be less predictable in the ring meaning that there is a less chance of him being countered by his opponents. The speed and power of his punches in recent fights has been amazing to see. If he could apply this ability to mix his combinations against Eubank then he will make it a short night of work against him. These analyzed clips are going to be very similar to the ones that are in my videos but they are going to be help you become the best boxer you can become. With both Connor and Eubank being orthodox boxers and Eubank Bank's favoured punch being the backhand uppercut, it is very important for Ben to keep that backhand up at all times. The reason for this is because by keeping the backhand up, Ben will be able to parry or block the incoming uppercut. Also, whilst moving his head, he should keep that backhand up to have that extra protection against Eubank's vicious uppercuts. A tap, we all know, Eubank is the much bigger boxer, which means he will have the size advantage. This means that he could use his size to tire Conor out just how Tyson Fury does against his opponents. What Connor needs to do is that he must attack the body of Chris Eubank Jr. These body punches will slow the movement of Eubank down, allowing Connor to be in his comfort zone of standing toe to toe. These punches may not be as effective early on in the fight, but throughout the rounds they will take a toll on Eubank. Connor must make sure that he times and lands these body punches on a regular. Chris Algieri fight. Connor won that whole fight solely on counter punching. These vicious counters allowed Connor to. KO Algeria which even in his previous fights Connor has always been a great counter puncher at times you can see how hesitant Connor's opponents can be when they are boxing with him because they are very fearful of getting countered Ben must time and land these vicious counter punches against Eubank as these strikes may grant the victory for Connor Ben out Eubank will be looking to throw long straight punches in the fight Connor will have to come in close to have any success in this fight and even roll his opponent's punches will play a crucial role in the Eubank fight. Being able to dodge Eubank's powerful straight punches will give Ben great opportunities to counter the taller boxer as well as frustrate Eubank as well. 